Hey, Darren Towers here with the North Texas 750 stall. And I'm gonna just give you a, a little rundown on how I installed the elevator uh, end fences. Uh, so these are from Viking. Uh, they are actually designed for the 750 Super Duty. Uh, what you get with the uh, package is the end plate and then you get basically it's a Zenith uh, style L, you know, standard L. Um, and the Super Duty, you know, has a slightly bigger elevator and uh, horizontal. So the, for the Super Duty, it comes, this plate comes pre-drilled to line up with the rivets on the Super Duty. So you could have a hole around a rivet and then a hole for a rivet you know these are supposed to line up around it but on the 750 stall it's a little bit smaller uh i basically started off uh by lining these up over top of my rivets the best i could uh getting everything kind of lined up equally uh on the horizontal and then i took on the on my 750 I don't know if it's on all of them, but there were two holes in the horizontal already drilled. Um, I think it's for, you know, spring in uh, like corrosion X or something like that. So I lined these up, held it in place, and then I used the uh, rivet hole finder, put that into the hole under that, and uh, found that hole, drilled it, then came back, put a Clico in it, lined up, found that hole, drilled it while holding everything in place. Then I came in and I uh, found the location of where the pin would come through. Uh, uh, again, just made a mark, then just drilled out a small hole and said, like, all right, it's pretty centered. Hoping I'm getting this in. And went from there. Uh, when I was lining up the rivets on the outside, I kind of based it off the rivet pattern that is on the horizontal top and bottom uh went through lined all those up after i clicoed it and had everything clicoed together i noticed that this was still a little bit weak so i got another l angle now this is the actual extruded aluminum it's not the bent aluminum like the l so it's a little bit stiffer um just standard uh hardware store uh, so that's I added that just to stiffen this area up and then I was still concerned I did a test run with just Clico Dawn and ran up and down the uh, runway just doing taxi speeds and I could tell that this would bend in and then rub against the end of the uh, uh, plate here so what I did, I got a nylon block, uh, and that nylon block comes from a, uh, it's actually just a Walmart uh, nylon cutting board. So cut that off, piece off, countersunk it, and just made a tab. So that's just kind of gives you a rub strip so that this won't bend into the horizontal. That was all clear. Did Basically, I match drilled all the holes for where I was gonna rivet from the other side. Uh, everything lined up pretty good on this side too. Um, anyway, so I did add that uh, piece right there. And then, like I said, I just kind of followed the pattern. Added uh, two rivets into the steel plate that holds the uh, elevator. And then I did use one of the holes here, and then these others were kind of lining up on the actual rivets for the 750 stall and not lining up with the uh, 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 rivet holes here. So hopefully this is all showing up. I'm not watching the camera as I'm recording this. But anyway, I got everything lined up. I think I need to add two rivets on the other side that I missed. But I was trying to clamp this as close to this area as possible. And then I also have a piece of uh, Gorilla double-sided stick tape behind this just to kind of give it something to keep from 
going directly onto that metal since it kind of stands off anyway and kind of give it a flex outward. So anyway, that's the install of those. You know, it's, you know it takes more time to paint it than it does to install it. Uh, so uh, there we go. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. They definitely work. Uh, you know, they take about five miles an hour off the stall speed when the elevator, you know, loses a, all the authority. Uh, as long as the prop's turning, it's really good. I still noticed that I was trying to do a idle to power stall earlier, and I just get so much prop wash from the big gigantic prop sitting out in the in the wind, just basically creating a gigantic board out front that it uh it just makes everything rumble, and you can tell the elevator stops working about that time when it's just blocking all the air. So, you, you know, if you're not getting any air over the horizontal, it's not going to do anything. So, but so far, no issues with it. It does help. Talk to y'all later. Bye.